wicked awesome piece of chalk out there. Bad news, I'm this tall and my stick only reaches this far. <laughs> so I'm gonna attempt to climb this tree. Which I've advised against. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. And I'm gonna shimmy as high as I possibly can and beat it caveman style, primitive with a stick. How far up do you think that is? Oh, I'm not very good at heights. Um, Imagine people. It's about, like it's about four of you. Okay, but <laughs> So I'm up in the tree. My stick is here. <laughs> you need to find me a bigger stick. Okay, I'm gonna get the bigger stick. So we're about 10 minutes into a winter hike and we stumbled upon this nice chunk of chaga so we're gonna we're gonna bust it down and take it home with us. Worked out nicely, we got a nice chunk of it off, still left enough for the tree. Nice chunk of chaga. So we just finished a successful chaga hunt. We've been in the woods now for well, honestly only a couple hours. We were so lucky to find it. But the spots that we did find it were difficult to say the least. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just like they the were high. Bit, very high. It was nice because all the trees that we found the chaga on had multiple chunks of chaga so we didn't have to worry about over harvesting because the trees were already loaded. I guess we'll show you our, our finds. This is my personal favorite of the day. A little hollow in there but that cone. It's nice and orange in there too. Yeah it's really vibrant. And this was our first find. We were so stoked on this one. We got it, we're like, yes, it's a successful day. And this tree right here, actually, on the opposite side, there's two nice chunks, so we took one little Which nice is funny one. because we were here last year. We literally had <laughs> breakfast here and never we noticed it. <laughs> ate breakfast beside this tree and it was there the whole time. It was a successful little chaga hunt today. Oh, I'm pretty happy with yourself. Now out of these chagas, so we'll, we'll basically we'll go home, dry them out completely, bust them up a bit, and then this is what we use for our, obviously our chaga tinctures, and then we also make a chaga coffee, and we use the chunks as a re reusable chaga chunk. Just keep watching for us and we will um, slowly post our updates as we go. Okay. And we'll see you guys next time, I guess. Bad time to chew.